And oh, from the Amex Stadium, and here's the good news, the rain has stayed away. It's a clear night in this part of England. I'm Derek Ray, and with me here on the commentary box is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Brighton and Hove Albion up against Crystal Palace. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. The team selected for Brighton and Hove Albion. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. Well, this is the team Crystal Palace have picked. Well, it'll be interesting to see how the wingers play today. Will they stay high and wide? Will they come in field and support the centre forward? And how deep will they come out of possession? They're going to be key to this formation. And the contest begins. Are you? Space and time for the cross. Well, time just challenged magnificently. And room now out on the wing. Lalana, it's there for him. And a goal! That is a very bright start. Perfect way to open. Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Joel Ward. Tossard. They keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Can he make it count? And a goal! The quick one too! And they've turned this game on its head! Well, as you can see, he makes it look easy in the end, but I think that's a good finish. He'll be pleased with that. Second goal for them here. Anderson. Benteke. 
Ayu. Gallagher. MacArthur. Well, it all counts for naught. Pascal Gross. Trossard. Mopé. Promising sequence. Superb block on the back of the ball from the flank. Great strong tackle. Throw in forthcoming. And a throw in forthcoming. Poor pass under no real pressure. Trossard. And the corner has been given. They fancy a short one. That's a useful cross. Brilliantly blocked. No nonsense clearance. MacArthur. That's a good looking ball. Ballas now in potentially a dangerous position. Zaha. Chance to reduce the arena. Pascal Gross. Webster in possession. Lalana. Gross. Well, oh, they keep the ball moving. Joel Feldman. Now in possession, Trossard. A real defensive commitment there. Anderson. Mitchell. Wilfred Zaha. MacArthur. MacArthur. And nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. An alert piece of defending. Lalana. Neil Mopé. A creative look about this. Lalana. Good strength to keep the ball. As clean as a whistle, that challenge. Gallagher. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Can they keep it going? Ayu. So after that, a goal kick it'll be. Well, truth be told, he's only had a very limited influence on this game, Stuart. Yeah, he's been well marshalled so far, but he hasn't worked the defenders or the goalkeeper hard enough. He's got to impose himself on this game, otherwise they're going to struggle to get back into this. Lalana. Dunk on the ball. Pascal Gross. On the offensive. Lalana. Can they convert? And a really good diving stop. Well, here we can see it again. Incredibly close, but the correct decision. No goal.
Can he deliver it with accuracy? And well off target in the end. Good pressure from the defender to put him off. Wilfred Zaha. Are you? Well timed tackle. And snuffing out the danger. And so it is, the first half story has been written. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, what a first half he had. I thought he was outstanding. He caused the defenders all sorts of problems with his movement and pace, and he fully deserved his two goals, and I expect more from him in the second half. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far, and now the second half is underway. Joel Feldman. Pascal Gross. Dunk on the ball. Trossard. Here's Gross. Making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Mopé. Gross. Keeping possession of the ball with authority. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Well, the counter chance looks very real. Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. Are you? Cuts it back. He might be able to carve something out. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. Well, the stats confirm Brighton's control of the ball, and that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Their pressing has been excellent, and they just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic performance up to now. Benteke. Nicely timed tackle. Trossard. Lalana. Promising attack, this. Trossard. Can he finish this? And diving to thwart him. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Can someone get on the end of this? Nodding it over. Well, he was more determined than his marker, but he just couldn't get it on target, could he? Substitution time it is. Coming off the pitch, number 20, Christian Benteke. Coming onto the pitch, number 22, Anson Edwards. And Palace moving the ball with purpose. MacArthur. Now just the tackle that was needed. This might be ideal for the counter. Trossard. 
Crossing possibilities. And the goalkeeper under no pressure. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. Alzate. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Odson Edouard. Are you? And in the end, he's run out of space. Pascal Gross. Well, they no longer have the ball. Anderson. Gallagher. 15 minutes left for play. Kuyase. Connor Gallagher. Odson Edouard. The cross is on. And can they make one of these passes count? Cuts it back in search of space. Now the attack fizzled out. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack. Well, it looked highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. Are you? Well, as you can see, he makes it look easy in the end, but I think that's a good finish. He'll be pleased with that. Is here. Well, not much time left now, and these supporters are doing everything they can to get their team over the finish line. What an atmosphere. Pass after pass, happy to just keep possession and frustrate their opponents. Crossard. And a throw in forthcoming. And they're making a change. Chance to play it in. Crossar. Gross. Mope. And the keeper showing tremendous command. If they can score again from this corner, it probably would be the end of the story. And time for the change now. Coming off the pitch, number two, Joel Ward, to be replaced by number 15, Jeffrey Schlupp. Now a short corner here. The defender doing his job. This is looking threatening. Defensive efficiency personified. 
And the referee is going to add on four added minutes. Down by a goal. This could be the final opportunity to snatch something. In position. What a block! Time is not on the side. This corner could help the prospects as they look for an equaliser. And there's the delivery. Attending to his defensive chores. Zaha. A promising looking attack but comes to nothing in the end and that is going to do it the referee blows for full time Brighton and Hove Albion have picked up maximum points how would you sum it up well Derek it was a really tight game but they were the better side over the 90 minutes and they fully deserved their victory today well we're picking him out for a reason he's had a tremendous game and attack Stuart well I have to say that was impressive not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent.